Welcome to Sphere Finance. I am Price Time, and you're watching Sphere TV. Prion is a next generation cross margin lending protocol coming soon to the Polygon network and to other chains as part of Sphere's liquidity as a service. Among other things, you will be able to use Prion to take loans against your own collateral, all at 0% interest. In my most recent video, I talked about how collateralized loans work. In this video, I want to take time to break down how leveraging works, including the risks and benefits. But first, if you haven't already, subscribe. It helps support the channel, and by ringing the bell, you will automatically be notified when we create new content. Towards the end of my collateralized loans video, I mentioned that what you do with your loan is entirely up to you you are free to do with it what you best see fit for your financial needs, bearing in mind that in order to withdraw your collateral, you will need to pay back your loan. One option for what you can do with your loan is convert it into more of the same collateral that you had initially deposited. You can then deposit that as new collateral, borrow more, and repeat in a process called leveraging. Let's use the USD plus USDC Penrose LP as an example. First, let's say that you have $1,000 that you convert 50-50 into USD plus and USDC, deposit them together into Dystopia to create a USD plus USDC Dystopia LP. Let's say you then stake that into Penrose for a yield of let's say 12% APR. Ignoring the yield from USD Plus and assuming nothing changes about the APR, after one year you would have made $120. Now let's see what leveraging does. When you stake in Penrose, you obtain a Penrose LP. You will be able to take your Penrose LP, deposit it as collateral in Prion, and take out a loan from it. Let's assume the maximum loan amount is 90% for stablecoin LPs, so you choose to borrow $900. You can now take that $900, convert it into more USD Plus and USDC, deposit them together into Dystopia to create an LP, stake that LP in Penrose, and deposit the new Penrose LP as new collateral in Prion. Now, instead of receiving 12% APR on $1,000, you are receiving 12% APR on $1,900, giving you $228 after one year instead of only $120. In addition, since you added that $900 as new collateral into Prion, your liquidation risk lowers allowing you to once again borrow 90% of that newly added $900, which is another $810. You can then repeat or loop this process again and again and again. Bear in mind that the amount that you can borrow will decrease each time. So imagine you did this 10 times. You would end up with a staked position of 6 $1,513, which at 12% APR will earn you $781 after one year instead of only $120. In fact, it would actually be $825 before fees because Prion auto compounds your Penrose LP for an APY of 12.68% on your leveraged $6,513 position, again, assuming nothing changes. Of note, I need to correct myself because in one of my recent Prion videos, I incorrectly stated that 10x leverage meant increasing your deposited balance from $1,000 to $10,000. I incorrectly interpreted 10x to be 10x the size of your initial deposit instead of the reality, which is 10x loops. And I apologize for this miscommunication. 
To be clear, the reality is that with 10x loops at 90% borrowed each loop, as an example, you can increase your deposited balance to around $6,500 from $1,000, not $10,000. Now, it is important to also realize that you do not have access to that $6,500 because $1,000 is your own money and the remaining $5,500 is borrowed. In order to regain access to your initial deposit, you will have to unwind your position paying back what you had borrowed. In this way, leveraging does not mean that you can turn $1,000 into $6,000 that you can just walk away with. Rather, it allows you to leverage the yield or earnings potential of your collateral. The downside to this strategy is that leveraged gain can also turn into leveraged loss. Say you leverage a volatile asset like wrapped ETH. In addition to potentially making significantly more if the price of wrapped ETH increases, you would also stand to lose significantly more if the price of wrapped ETH drops. Let's compare two example portfolios to see exactly why. Let's say portfolio one has $1,000 of wrapped ETH, and let's say portfolio two has $1,500 of wrapped ETH, but $500 of that is borrowed and leveraged in. Now let's say that the price of wrapped ETH drops by 10%. Portfolio 1 would be worth $900, and Portfolio 2 would be worth $1,350. Now, because $500 of Portfolio 2 was borrowed, Portfolio 2 will only have $850 left after repaying that loan for a total loss of $150 versus a loss of $100. So leveraging can increase gains, but it can also accelerate losses. It is a double-edged sword. With stablecoins and stablecoin LPs as collateral, there is less volatility risk but there is still a risk, which is if either of the stablecoins in the LP or individually depegs. If that occurs and is severe enough to trigger your liquidation threshold, which I covered in my most recent video, your Penrose LP position will be liquidated. In the event of liquidation, your collateral is seized and you are only left with what you had borrowed, since Prion will use your collateral to cover your loan. The problem is that if you use what you borrow to leverage more collateral and then you get liquidated, you will be left with nothing, but your loan will be closed. For example, if you deposit $1,000 of wrapped ETH, take out a $500 loan, choose not to leverage, and get liquidated, you still get to keep the $500. However, if you deposit $1,000 of wrapped ETH, take out a $500 loan, and then leverage your collateral up to $1,500, in the event of liquidation, your entire position will be lost in order to close your loan. To help give you an idea of what the risk and return potential for leveraging stablecoins looks like, my finance had created an example of what would happen with a $100 deposit earning around 10% APY if you leverage borrowing around 87% from your deposited collateral each time. They give a breakdown of the loop number, collateral, debt, available loan, equivalent APY, and stablecoin liquidation price. I've plotted the stablecoin liquidation price and the equivalent APY together on a chart to make it easier to visualize. So yes, the more loops of leverage you perform, the higher the equivalent APY on your initial stablecoin deposit, but the easier it becomes for your position to be liquidated in a depegging event. Remember, the liquidation price is the price that the stablecoin LP has to drop to for your deposited collateral to be seized from your possession to cover the cost of what you borrowed. 
there are ways to minimize your liquidation risk. First, if you borrow and or leverage less, then it becomes less likely that the value of your collateral will drop to the liquidation threshold. Second, you can wait until your collateral appreciates in value and or deposit more collateral. And thanks to Prion having cross-margin lending, all collateral deposited can help stabilize your entire portfolio. That's the good thing about yield-bearing assets such as Penrose LPs, which will be auto-compounded within Prion, or appreciating assets such as wrapped ETH, is that over time, your risk of liquidation will reduce as the value of your collateral increases relative to your borrowed amount. Remember, your borrowed amount will not change unless you choose to borrow more or repay it, because Prion charges a 0% interest and makes revenue instead only from small fees. Third, you can minimize your liquidation risk by simply repaying some or all of the amount that you had borrowed. As mentioned earlier, you can also use stablecoins or stablecoin LPs as collateral to reduce your liquidation risk as well, bearing in mind that the risk of liquidation is never zero. Ultimately, the goal of this video is to help you make informed decisions so that if you decide to leverage using Prion, you can do so in a risk-conscious way. More leverage will allow for higher yield potential, but it will also increase your risk for liquidation. A special thanks and shout out goes to Ruxpin for helping explain leverage to the community in the Sphere Finance Discord's main chat. Now, even if you're only understanding a small percentage of the information I'm sharing with you, that is okay. The best place to stay up to date or contact us is through the Sphere Finance Discord. Links are in the description below. You can also leave a comment below and we will do our best to help. After all, this video and channel is for educational purposes only and is not financial advice. Click the link on screen now to watch another video. Thanks for watching and always remember that you matter for who you are.